Ashley Juzik, owner of Destiny Equine, and today on our Tidbit Tuesday, we're going to talk about trailer safety. Okay, so the first step when hooking up your horse trailer to tow is you want to make sure that your ball is the same size as the tongue of your trailer. So my trailer tongue is at 2 and 5 16 so you want to make sure that the reading on your top of your ball is the same measurement. And our next step is we're going to lower down the trailer onto the ball. And once you get the ball down, you're going to close the latch. This is really important, okay? You don't want to wait. Just do the steps as you come to them so you don't forget anything. So close the latch and make sure you put the pin through the hole. And then we're going to hook up our lights and brakes. Make sure that you have enough slack here, not so much that it's dragging on the ground, but just enough so that when you do turns, you're not squeezing it too tight. And you're going to take your chains and you're going to loosen them just enough so that they're not going to be dragging on the ground, but not that they're going to be strained when you're going around turns. And you're going to crisscross them. Okay, and my biggest pet peeve is when people don't make the jack go all the way up, okay? There's no reason to leave it down like that or to leave the wheel on the top, on the tip of your jack. Take all of that off, throw your wheel in your tack room of your trailer so you have it in case for some reason you have to unhook your trailer. Just make sure it's all the way up there. Okay, so once you think you have everything hooked up, I always step back just to make sure and I double check to make sure that the tongue is on the ball of the um, hitch and that the latch is closed, the pin is in the hole, the chains are all hooked up, um, the jack is all the way up, and that our lights and brakes are all plugged in. Next step we're gonna do is we're gonna check to make sure that our lights of our trailer are working. So next, what we would do is we would turn on our truck and we'd have somebody in the truck pushing on the brake pad to make sure that both of these lights are lighting up. When someone's behind you, they can't see that you're slowing down to see what your truck's doing. It's very, very important that these lights are working. Also, we want to make sure that our blinkers are working. So we have someone turn on the right blinker and the left blinker and make sure that they both flash. The next thing, we're going to check our tires. We want to make sure that one, our tire pressure is good. We want to make sure that we have plenty of tread on our tires. And we want to make sure that all of our lug nuts are tight. Tires are so important. There's nothing more scary than a tire blowing when you're towing your horses and the trailer goes crazy. Okay, another thing I want to tell you guys is take your wheel, at least one wheel chalk with you when you're traveling. You never know when you're going to have to unhook your trailer if your truck dies and you need someone to tow you. You want to make sure that you have a one wheel chalk at least with you. You can throw it under your tires. Just throw it in your tack room. They don't take up that much space. Okay. Another thing I recommend for you guys to get is to get some tire covers for your trailer tires. These are cheap. They're $10 a piece from Walmart. They take two seconds to throw on. Saves your tires from getting all worn out from the sun. I highly recommend getting these. Tires are too expensive to waste them by letting them burn up from the sun when you use your trailer once a year. So make sure you go and invest in these. Alright guys, that's all we have for today's Tidbit Tuesday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you go follow me, Kaylee Juzik, and Destiny Equine on all the social media. Make sure that you keep up because we're going to be giving away this hat in a couple weeks. Go follow us.